Hey everybody, Ryan here from Android Coliseum. Got another toy to play with here. This is the digital photo frame from SunGale. And it runs Android. Again, they don't really advertise that it runs Android. Uh, and I kind of funny that, you know, they show Flickr, but that's not exactly the actual logo for Flickr. And Pinterest is red logo. So, I don't know, but it's, we'll see. Um, not a super high resolution, but again, this is just going to be a photo frame that's going to be sitting on my uh, you know wall or my desk and uh, I don't need it to really do too much uh, seven inch size it's gonna have four gigs of memory it does use an SD card if you want but apparently you can also play movies which is gonna be kind of cool and uh, you know it shows online videos so can I get it to do that and it looks like you know, it's got touch screen but definitely it's Android what version I don't know because they don't really ever say on these things that it runs Android and runs whichever version so yeah Let's take a look at it. Got an instruction manual. Whoever needs those. Um, what else we got in here? Oops. USB cable. To charge it up. Keep or transfer, I imagine. I imagine it's just for charging it up. Because does it have a battery? Doesn't say. Well. Oh, must not have a battery because there's a power. There is a power cable. Um, so that must be just for transferring things to your computer from it. Anyways, uh, that is the little kickstand thingy. Okay. For seven inches is definitely bigger than my Nexus Seven was. It, uh, we'll have to see which, how it looks. I don't know if it's probably not charged up right now. I wonder if I can give it a little bit of juice here. My cable will reach all that way. But otherwise, you know, you can plug it in. Uh, it's probably going to take a while to get set up. Uh, now my cable right, it's not going to reach further there. So I'll, get, I'll play around with it, guys. I'll get it all set up, and then we'll finish the review off. When that's done, there you go. Have it sit on your desk. Manuals, who reads those? Hey, here's my review here of the SunGale digital photo frame. Now it's cool, it's got Wi-Fi on it. The, um, taking it out of the box, one thing is that the cable that it comes with is pretty short, I gotta admit. Like, I've got it sitting up on the second shelf here, and that's about as far as the cable will reach it. And that's, so it doesn't give you much room to really play around with, so you got to really watch where you're going to put it. Um, outside of that, it does act actually act as a full-on Android tablet, just slow. So you can actually go in. Whoops. So you're kind of slow and reacting back out of this. So there it is. You actually can get into the Play Store. And you just would have to log in with your Google account. I don't recommend doing that because you're doing that turns on the background syncing and this thing will be unuse, unusable for about an hour. Just all that background syncing. This is not heavily powered. This is not where the its strength lies. Its strength lies in being able to showcase your photos. You know, bring up some pictures. You can load it up. It has about a few gigs of space. Um, and then do a slideshow. And just leave that going. That'll be just fine for what most people are doing. Now it's kind of a pain in the butt that the, the bottom row here where the nav buttons are constantly on. So you can't get it full frame. It would be nice if it was KitKat and you can get rid of that. But unfortunately, no. Uh, you can do uh, LAN photos. Uh, so if you do plug it in, um, or sorry, connect it into your Wi Fi network, you can so try to look in through your network and see your photos. I haven't had much luck with it. I think I'm default pictures. There's no files there. I can't remember which one it is. It's not exactly as, as super friendly there. You can also use your so get into social media, um, but they also include an app called Dayframe. Now here is Dayframe, and Dayframe does essentially what you think would be. You can punch in different galleries like Dropbox, Google, etc. Again, adding a Google one takes forever and this kind of 
really recommend it. Dropbox is kind of nice. You can add in Dropbox, but then say specifically which folders you have in Dropbox you'd want to use. So you can actually go ahead and make a folder for your photo frame, you know, on your computer at home, and this will plug in and do that. So otherwise, it's got everything, you know, you know 500 pics, Tumblr, Instagram, Google Plus, Flickr, etc., for it to do that. So I've set it up to do. Uh, using 500 picks, just some different categories, and you can go ahead and hit play, and it'll do a photo slideshow, however you like it. Uh, one of the weird thing I noticed is that when you power it down, there's a power button behind it here. Sometimes it goes straight into your photo slideshow, which is okay. I mean, I guess it's a slide, it's a photo thing. Hitting it again should turn it off. I've had the weird situation where sometimes hitting it again, you know, hit it again to bring, turn it on, brings it into that. I only hit it once and it's kind of, so I wanted to bring it back. I guess I gotta hit that. So it's not exactly super fluid and I can't find any setting that's in there to turn off that feature that when I hit the power button to go into slideshow. Another some button that would say hit slideshow and start now, but it's kind of different. So again, it's got its own little skin, but it does run, you know, the Google Play services. Um, again, I wouldn't recommend it just because it is running pretty slow. If you want to take a look, it's running at uh, Jelly Bean 4.2. It uh, has, has any information about the hardware just because it's it's pretty slow. But I mean, again, you know what? You set it up with a bunch of photos. You can plug it in with. Um, with an SD card or with a, a mini USB, not micro USB. And then uh, there you go. You'll have all your pictures that you want on there. Although it does have your Wi-Fi, so go ahead, set it up in Dropbox, and that's your folder. Okay, so that's the Sungill photo frame. Uh, nice little buy. It's a you know, uh, 7-inch screen. Compare that to my OnePlus One 5.5-inch screen. It's It's not... Big, so it's not ostentatious. It's going to take up your whole room. It's just going to be just the nice right amount of size for a shelf just like this, where I might want to have photos going through it. Okay, have a full review on my site soon. Thanks.